Behind me is my 2020, not 2020, what am I talking about? 2014 Chevy 1500 9 inch McGoey's lift, 24 by 14s, with way too many miles. And I finally dropped the lifter in the engine and ultimately had to rebuild the whole engine. That was good, that was good. Had to rebuild the whole engine, and we're dropping the engine off at the uh, engine shop. Hopefully we'll get it back quick, fingers crossed. Enjoy the video, let's get this bread. If you guys haven't seen the most recent video, we kind of explain everything that's going on, so make sure you guys go back and see the most recent upload. We got the engine taken out of the truck last week, last Friday, and we're loading everything up currently. Take it to the machine shop so we can get the lower half rebuilt. And Leonard's throwing the oil pan back on the bottom of the engine so we can get it loaded up and I'm gonna take it to the shop this morning. That's the goal today, get it dropped off at the shop and then we wait. sits during the day when it's not raining. The terrifying part about this, I told you guys in the last video that we're about halfway through the process. We're completely done with the teardown, and I'm hopeful that this is the last bit of bad news that comes with the build process. Now, obviously, the last thing that could happen here is we take it to the engine shop, and they just tell me that it's completely trash and I have to buy a new one, or they hit me with some crazy astronomical bill to rebuild the lower half, or short block as somebody had come in it. This is the stressful part about this because um, I'm hoping that I'm home free and the build can start once this is done. But again, I have to wait for the machine shop to give me their bad news ultimately first. So now I get to drop it off, load it up, drop it off, and it becomes a waiting game. I was gonna let Jake film, but I didn't think he'd want to leave behind the counter. You bust a rap? Bust a rap? No, not a shot. Country. Can we make a country song? Come on, Jim Jan, let me show you something. Set of wheels there. Oh, you parked all the way on the end. Freaking sweat. They just sweat us down out here. Isn't that right, Jimmy? That's right. Come on. Come on. Let's see. Only, only if you give me my date. Bro, put your zipper up, bro. Yeah. That's, I'm ready for zipper you. Zipper up. I'm ready. I told you I dreamed about it last night. Put your zipper up. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm looking at. Looking at trash. Woo! Trash, buddy. New pistons? Yeah, that thing has got to be fully assembled. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we're screwed. Yeah, they, they, they locked the DOD delete in there, though. I was going to show you guys the uh, the new engine. Well, not new engine, the rebuilt engine that finally came back. But yeah. I don't even know what I'm looking you at. What I was going to tell you about what my dream was about. Lynn had a dream last night that he keeps telling me about that I can't put in the video. You can't put it in there. You just don't want to because you don't want me getting to her. Hello? Oh, we got our engine back is really all I came out here to show you, but there ain't really much to show you other than the block that's sitting here. So now I get to fight back and forth with the guys in the shop about when they're going to get it done. So it may take a couple days, it may take a couple weeks, but the engine's back. But look, look. <laughs> There's a really bad storm coming through really the southeast of the country today. So a lot of schools, a lot of businesses are closed. And the part that's terrifying to me is my truck is sitting outside, which isn't the scary part. It's the fact that I don't know if you guys remember, my window is stuck down and I just very nonchalantly taped a couple trash bags over the window just to keep the weather out of it. Not assuming we were gonna have some kind of just obnoxious ass winter storm come through. We're gonna roll the door up real quick and see if the trash bags are still there. Fingers crossed. Yeah! Y'all see that? 
Yeah, look at trash bags. Holding up, buddy. Hell yeah. I'm calling Jimmy out. I'm calling Jimmy out in my video. So we picked the engine up the other day. And uh, we got it all the way back to the shop. And he left the heads at the machine shop. Yay. So Alex has to go all the way back and pick those up. I need a lot of things. Can I get your mounts? Because we left the mounts on the clock. Okay. Um, I need a lot of, th I need to pick up a lot of things from the yeah. engine shop. This is the point here. I gotta make sure we have everything to put back together. If we had everything here, I could have the engine put back together today, but. Interesting. Just missing some stuff, so. I need that DOD plate. So I can put your hot pressure pump back on top. So we need, let's go inside and make a list. We need DOD plate, we need heads, we need the side mounts. Yeah, yeah. the engine mount. Engine mounts. Put oh, the engine mounts probably in the back of my truck. I'm 99% sure. Probably take them off, I'm not sure. I'm 99% sure they're in the back of my truck. If they're not super expensive, we'll order new ones. So. Yeah, you need this gasket for this air pump. Is that something that I can... Beautiful. That and then we need a gasket for your oil cooler. Okay, I guess Leonard would have taken it all off, so we'd have to ask Leonard. So um, it might still be in the truck because it's got lines that run into it, so it might still be in the truck. Just gotta look at it. Okay. Goal, if we're lucky, is to at least have all the parts here today. I'm not gonna assume... The sooner you can get them here, the sooner I can get the parts. The, if we had everything here, the engine could be put back together today. If we get all the parts today. So let's focus on getting all the parts today. I have to go to the machine shop in this weather. Great. So I left my camera at the shop to go pick up the heads for the truck. And well, they already grabbed them out of the truck. I had to drive all the way back because Jimmy didn't get the heads to the truck. When I got there, I'm gonna put a clip in the video of when I first realized that this, ha this has happened. My day's going, perfect example. Perfect example. Yep. But I had dumped a gallon of paint, long story short, on the whole inside of this truck. So that's uh, kind of how my day is going today. Just to give you guys a heads up. Wanted to go pick up the engine parts and that's what I had waiting for me, making room in the front seat for the headers. One of the benefits to working here at Southern Tire is how close we are to Summit Racing. And for a long time, I have taken that for granted because Summit keeps so much stuff in stock, especially when it comes to engine stuff. So 90% of the stuff that I need to rebuild my engine in this video comes from your local places like AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Advanced, or Summit. So I'm running to Summit. Um, one of the things that held up my engine rebuild process was the oil pan gasket and the water pump, not water pump, the oil pump being incorrect. So I had to get new ones of those and that held me up for like a week, week and a half to get the engine back. So now I need to take those back, get my money and I'm picking up water pump, trans cooler and something else, longer spark plug wires. And just like that, five minutes down the road, Summit racing. Gotta love it. 99% sure that we have all of our parts to start rebuilding the engine. The machine shop did their thing, lower half is built, cam is in, DOD delete is in. They've uh, ported and polished the lower half and the heads. Heads are on and torqued down. I'm gonna put a clip in the video so y'all can see that. Oh, shit. Oh. I don't get that part. Terrifying. We've got spark plugs, wires, all of our gaskets to get a trans cooler from Summit earlier, water pump, new belts, new oil pressure sensor. I'm sure there's gonna be another couple hundred dollars worth of crap that's thrown on to the top of this, but the next video will be us finishing the engine and trying to attempt to put it back into the truck. Well, not attempting, it will go back into the truck. I do, for those of you that have not seen the other videos, hey, I've got all of my other parts in the back of the truck right now. This is, uh, we got transmission back here, radiator, um, all of the old parts that came off, all of the accessories to the engine are in the back as well. Um, just everything that came off the truck that needed to come off the truck is either in the truck or in the bed. Intakes in the truck, headers are in the truck. I think I'm gonna switch to long tubes, so I'm gonna be sending those headers back anyway. We're getting there. The engine's back. That was the hard part is getting the engine back, but it's always gonna be something in this process. You know what I mean? It's never just one price and that's it. So hopefully, if you guys see the next video, the rest 
of this should go smoothly. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Knowing me, it's not gonna happen that way. So, hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you guys wanna see how this happened and what's led up to this point, make sure you guys go check out the playlist that's on the channel. Thank you guys for showing love and supporting. I would not be here without you guys. I would not have the truck in general. So, love you guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. You guys have been showing crazy love on the videos, and I love you all for that. Until next time, let's get this bread. Get this bread.